Winter Lewis is the best assistant I have ever hired. The contracts never have a single mistake. She's punctual, and when I tell her to do something, I know it will be perfect and waiting for me when I need it. Not only do we get along great, but she's smart, funny, and quick with the lip. I like the fact she doesn't put up with any bullshit, and she doesn't kiss my ass. The fact she hasn't thrown herself at me is a total turn-on. My last assistant was too busy trying to get in my pants to even bother to use spell check. Yes, I found a gold mine with Winter. I'll have to remember to send a formal thank you to my Uncle Thomas for sending her my way. I click on my calendar to place a reminder to do just that. I do it sooner, but he's out of the country on vacation for the next few weeks, with wife number four. After I add the reminder, I finish typing out my last email for the morning and lean back in my chair. Glancing up at the wall clock, I'm surprised to see it's already after twelve. The morning is gone. Shit. Who am I kidding? The entire month has gone by in a blur. With the month looming, I'm going to have to sit down and schedule the holiday party soon. As I start to add it to my calendar, a muffled noise grabs my attention, and I listen. There's singing coming from the other side of my closed door. What is she up to now? Closing the lid on my laptop, I smile. Pushing back my chair, I walk across the length of my office. The closer I get to the door, the louder and clearer the singing becomes. I recognize the song. Good choice. Grasping the knob, I turn it and pull the door open. Winter's back is to me, and she's relaxed in her chair. Her head is bobbing back and forth, causing her long brown hair to sway against her luscious curves. From where I stand, it appears the sweater she's wearing leaves little to the imagination. She turns slightly, and damn, I was right. The sweater is very revealing, hugging to the curves of her voluptuous breasts. Tearing my eyes from her cardigan, my eyes find her plump pink lips as they caress the words I hear. Pulling myself from the dirty thoughts of what I want to do with those lips, I walk up behind her and grab the back of her chair. Applying pressure, I tip it backward. As she begins to fall back, her arms swing in every direction, and I can't help but laugh at the beautiful but hilarious sight before me. <laughs>